All right, go ahead. Let's see the crossfire. You do battle ropes all the time, you said? Yes. Yeah. You'll never get this type of force when you do battle ropes. Yeah, also, battle ropes battle can't ropes. go on a transverse plane yeah, like this. The ground becomes dead ending, right? Yeah. What you're finding... Well, what I found battle rope is this thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you can yeah. do that with this as well. The difference is when a battle rope hits ground, it's going to be dead energy, right? As you are starting to move this, you're creating energy in the tube. That energy is going to push back in your body. <laughs> right. So it's a double effect. Not only are you, you creating forces, this, you have to absorb the force that's being created, right? The energy stays in that tube, so you're fighting the inertia the whole time. Right, not only the 30 pounds or 50 feet long battle rope, which is big, bulky, and hard to travel with. Think about the battle rope, why it frays at the anchor point or why the ends fall off. Because the energy stays in the in the battle rope. While here, the energy goes, It's you're fighting against inertia, the energy goes into your body. Right. It's a totally different application. 20 seconds, you feel like. It looks like a battle rope, but it's totally different. <laughs>